I had my first psychedelic experience the rock set, an inauspicious start by anyone's standards. Several of us had taken half a tab of acid and waited for it to come on. It seemed I would have to wait a while longer for the start of what would eventually become my reasonably glorious psychedelic career. An hour later, with no signs of anything happening, we assumed we'd been ripped off and decided to go into town. As the 10 milligrams Voxinorm begins to kick in and the 13 hours of Aphex Twin on SoundCloud play on, it seemed easy to recall how the evening of my first LSD trip developed all those years ago. My tongue began to be inexorably drawn to an exploration of my molars as we took the bus into town as usual and headed for the Globe pub. Something weird was beginning to happen. Maybe a regular night out on the town wasn't such a good idea. The buildings along Silver Street became a film set. The buildings seemingly only two dimensional now. Sat in the snug, my leg touched someone else's and I couldn't tell whether I was pressing hard against it or was merely brushing it. I began to perceive the layers in the music. I could hear each sound separately in a way that allowed me to examine the minutiae of the banal Euro pop. Even Roxette sounded good on acid. It must have been love, but it's over now. My first mushroom trip yielded a much more rewarding experience. A decent record shop had furnished us with the Grateful Dead's first album. That didn't really hit my OG spot, but the anthem of the sun and HP Lovecraft Live certainly did. The multiple turning over of Anthem of the Sun was delayed only by us breaking our tripped out reverie with several minutes of hysterical laughter. When the vinyl began to spin again, we drifted off into our own mushroom rainbow dreams. I seemed to be lying submerged in an indescribably comforting pool of water, something akin to the feeling of being wrapped in cotton wool that heroin would occasionally provide years later. My friend's house, in which we had taken the acid the first time, provided a nice venue for a trip soon afterwards. We tried to put a coloured light bulb in the living room for ambience, but after setting up a chair underneath, we found that none of us could quite manage it. The crazy fits of the giggles and a lack of spatial awareness fusing to hamper our efforts. The next morning, I found we could reach the bulb fitting easily by merely reaching up from standing on the floor. DIY is not a good psychedelic pastime. Acid and ease were never too much fun. My mind felt moved sideways into a realm that I wouldn't encourage people to visit. Purple on acid tabs were almost a weekly endeavour to deal with at that time, but strawberries were always fun. Just like alcohol, different types have different effects. Epiphanies at an exponential rate blossomed from my early 90s drug use combining youth, ecstasy, acid, speed, dope and joy. 